Alright everyone, welcome back to another set of Let's Play XCOM UFO Defense. I had to think about that, that's sad. When we last left off, there's a terror mission and Magnum was wounded. But he's alright, it'll only be eight days and then the brave soldier will come back. But in the meantime, she'll take out a new soldier. Blaze's Gaming Corner, she'll see action. Let's see, let's see. We are going to get rid of all these rifles, and rifle clips, and heavy cannons. I mean, this is just clutter at this point. Same with the auto cannon, even, really. We'll keep the rocket launcher around. Um, we have flares, and we have that. We do like heavy plasmas around here. We'll keep those around. Let's see... And we can sell some of these. Let's... I don't want to get rid of any heavy plasma, although we can actually use them, though. Let's get... Actually, how much space do we have for people? We can have four more dudes. One, two, three, four. Dang it, I need five more dudes. Then we would have the full list of everyone who has signed up. Should get rid of one engineer in the meantime. Get out of here! Five soldiers. In the meantime, I guess there really isn't anything that we need to buy, is there? Alright, guys. Oops. Not the, the UFO pay -pia. Okay. We are gonna go... Ch Still refueling. Okay. Oops. We have got to figure out where this base is at. It has got to be like right around here or something. Where? I feel like the other way around the world would have been faster, guys. Hooray! Ten engineers. Were we actually making things? No. No, we were not. Can we make things now? Um, did we make pew pew plasma beams? We need, we want one more plasma beam. Oops, no. Manufacture. I'm just clicking all the things today. Um, what? Oh, we need more lyrium. Balls. Wait, can I just throw those plasma beam bomb things on here? Do they actually need ammo? I cannot even remember. Apparently not. Okay, what about over here? Damn it. I swear, we saw that UFO flying around here. I should have followed it better. It probably would have led us back to their base. Damn it, he's gonna run out of fuel, and then he's gonna be all mad, and he's gonna be like, I gotta go back now. See something on your way back. Europe. They're all up in Europe. Occasionally... Siberia. They're all up in Europe. They're flying there a lot. That It's somewhere over there. The new troops have arrived! Alright, I believe I left off at Veritech. And if I have missed you guys, like if I forgot to put your name in, let me know. Because it, it would be very easy for me to miss someone. We have Deezer. Dicer. I'm 
I'm going with D, sir. Ooh. Choo choo my rocket. That could have... He's either talking about Choo Choo Rocket the game or something sexual. Not sure which. We have Wizardmon. The most powerful of all Pokemon. And last but not least, someone down here. You shall be... Pawtocket! Okay. You done refueling yet? Because we're going back to fucking Europe. I know this isn't Europe, but it's in that general area. Did I, ever, I don't know if I ever checked out the UK specifically. Edge of Spain? Whoops. Damn it. What did I just research? The world may never know. I I'm honestly can't remember. If someone figures it out, let me know. I haven't studied Illyrium yet, and I've been using it in all sorts of things. This dangerous unknown compound? Oh, it was just the UFO power source. Let's just so you guys all get to see that. Let's look at that in the UFO P. Alien artifacts. No. UFO. A UFO component. The power source of alien craft is an antimatter reactor which uses Illyrium to generate powerful gravity waves as well as other forms of energy. The conversion of matter to energy is, inc is an incredible 99% efficient. Therefore, tiny quali quantities of Illyrium can produce a huge amount of power. And we can... Oh wait, this unit can be reproduced easily with alien alloys. I thought I was talking about Illyrium, which cannot be reproduced. Unfortunately, you have to basically blow up aliens to get that. Making it quite a valuable commodity. God, I've always been bad at finding the alien bases, but I've never been this bad. To Russia! It's on the ground? Select new target, we're fighting him. To arms! Oh, this is gonna be great, guys. If we can take... They're on the ground, so none of the aliens are gonna be blown up in the explosion, so there's a lot more of them. But the craft isn't damaged either, either, so there's a lot of stuff we can scavenge. This has the potential to be very, very profitable for us. In fact, we might be able to capture at the commander that we need to progress through the game. Really should have outfitted the XCOM craft with better equipment, because I'm sure we have more heavy plasmas by now. But hey. You know, shit sometimes happens. See if we can't take some of these bastards back alive and torture them. Blaze, I'm sorry, Blaze's Gaming Corner. You're too far in the back and you are not proven yet to capture these aliens alive. But you shall have this pew pew laser rifle. Alright. Turn one. Nice! I don't need to throw any flares. That has not happened often. Don't want the stun bomb guy <coughs> out first. That's the edge. <coughs> Kane, you're gonna be very careful about this. Very careful. Cool dude! You too will be very careful about this. Alright, there's floaters. Oh, cool dude! Not taking that floating action. He says, fuck that. You see him. Now's the time to strike, cool dude. Close. Yes! Cool dude, you're no longer a rookie. I'm pleased to say. Kane? Keep an eye out up there. I don't trust 
Well, then again, that is the edge. Never mind, I completely trust that. I don't trust down there, though. That is why Darth Ryax should be covering that area. Uh-oh. Well, someone sees us, and someone is trying to kill us. Cool, dude. Oh! That's who shot at you. Come on, cool dude. Oh my god, cool dude! Oh, he didn't die. Come on. Can you hide behind something? Not really. Someone's gonna need to save you, or you will most likely die. Ryax? You see him. Save your squad mates. Yes! The reason we're saving the stun bomb launcher for later is because, oh, your steel hunter, he's gonna go with Nathaniel. The reason we're saving the stun bomb launcher for later is that the last aliens that are in the UFO are almost always the commanders, and that is our goal. We want to capture one of those. There's another one, and we do see the UFO. So at least you know where that's at. Kane, try and preemptively take him out. <laughs> God, I really fucking like this squad of soldiers. Performing very well. You can come off the Sky Ranger, but be careful about it. Oh no! Oof. That was very, very close. Kane may have pissed himself there. Cool dude. You're a rookie, but show him that you're better than that. Okay, one more shot. Come on. Alright, fair enough. He's probably... You probably can't see him because of that hill. Oh, wait, you can. Try and take that. There we go. <coughs> Good thing they're all just clumped together like this. Alright, Steel Hunter and Nathaniel are gonna check out this dark area down here. They're gonna be the recon team, as always. Ryax will be heading up the UFO assault team. As well as Chandel. He's not gotten he's been in a few mission missions, but never seems to get any action. See if we can't change that. There was a UFO door opening. Kane, you're gonna go around the back of the cell. Let's see, Steel Hunter? Check out this shady looking area. Bad part of town, man. Out next is Storm KMD. No, oh, you see? <gasps> Look at the reactions on that motherfucker. <gasps> no! Wait, he's unconscious. We can still save him. Fast enough, he bled out on the very turn. Oh, but at least Ryax had his revenge. Look at the reaction shot kills that one. The other one fires. In a in vengeance, in a blind rage, Ryax shoots and kills the other one. It's probably about the best he could have gone down, but to lose cool dude like that when he was just getting going. He was just starting to show me his shit, and it was some good shit. In fact, that reaction shot hit was fucking amazing. <coughs> it's 
bad. I fucking hate it when the aliens start just jumping out of the doors and then leaving right away. We're gonna rush the door. Where's team players? Alright. Team players, I really respect you, so that's why I'm letting you do the honor and the very, very dangerous job of going in first and shooting a stunt bomb to capture one of these bastards. There was one up here, so it's usually a good sign that there's another one up here. <coughs> Majin Buu, he feels no need to come out this mission. This mission is going too smoothly. However, happy scrub. Good. They weren't they aren't trying that door shit anymore. I want eyes on all of these doors. Looking at this door. Meantime, team players, we're gonna assault from this side. And Chando, who I really I want him to see some action. He's a little bloodthirsty. Next turn we will bust open both these doors. There'll be one more door to go through though. So we won't quite be to the main control room yet. After a step out of the sky, Ranger, sir. Let's get some backup support in case things go very, very wrong. Good, none of them popped out of the doors. Chandel, you're up. You see one. Team players, you're up. I don't think there's a door right here, like this room, but. Okay, we do want to capture that alien alive, so Shandle. Okay, good, you didn't get shot at. Ryax is going to get shot at if he stands here, though, unfortunately. Whew. Alright, and a happy scrub, get over. Time. Let's just in case there's another one roaming around out here. We're gonna continue the recon adventures of Nathaniel and Steel Hunter. <coughs> but I don't believe it will be necessary. No. Well. Okay. I don't want anyone to die. And there's still another one we can capture there. Bastards. Killing themselves now so we don't capture them. Please don't make yourself unconscious. Yes! There is one more room in here. Oops. He puts it in his head, he's like, I don't know what to do with this. that there's this last room. <coughs> no! Shando! I think that was Shando. God damn it. We just had to have one last revenge. Majin Buu becomes Colonel. And we have lots of new upgrades. Steel Hunter becomes a captain. 
along with Kravdra and Storm came, D and Durand will become sergeants. <sighs> Two soldiers lost, though. But if we got what we needed, the great cost may be worth it. He was a navigator. That can help a lot. In fact, that can help greatly if we get the information we need from that bastard. <coughs> oh dear. Wait a second. No, Shandal lives. That was Ryax. No!